<laughs> it's now time for a free chocolate haul. Am I doing well at adulting? I think so. Guys, I'm having a bit like a quarter life crisis. This is a parcel I got gifted from Purdy and Fit. Um, I'm at Josh's house. Is that gonna stay there? Right. Hello everybody, good morning, happy Monday. It is currently Monday morning. I have walked the dogs, I have got myself ready for the day and we're now in the kitchen because I need to have some breakfast but I thought before I do that, I'm gonna intro my vlog so that we can start the vlog off right at the start of the week on Monday morning. As you can tell from the title, I don't know where this intro is going. As you can tell from the title, I'm back with a weekly vlog because I'm meant to be on my own this week, living on my own, but there's been a slight um, pause in those plans. My parents and the dogs, as you might be able to see, I think Reggie's head is kind of there. They are still currently here, but they're either going down to Cornwall today or tomorrow. They were meant to go on Thursday, but long story. But anyway, I'm basically gonna be on my own this week. So I thought I'd do a weekly vlog. We could spend the week together. That is basically what we're gonna do. I don't know why I'm overcomplicating this intro, but apparently I am. Yeah, I need to have some breakfast. Um, I do need to also go to Aldi because I am really enjoying the Aldi dupe of crunching out cereal at the moment, but I finished it yesterday. So I'm gonna have to make do with the Aldi dupe of the crunching nut clusters, which to be fair, is the next best thing. But I am really obsessed <laughs> with the crunchy nut things. Anyway, I'm going in a ramble here, aren't I? Um, I'm gonna have some breakfast and then we shall get on with the day. But I thought, like I said, I will do the intro now. We're gonna spend the week together. It's gonna be a weekly vlog. It's probably gonna be quite a long one because I'm thinking it's gonna be a nice chatty vlog. We're gonna spend the week together. So hopefully it'll be a long one. I'm going down that route for this video. So just putting that warning out there, you might wanna get a drink and a snack. I'm gonna have some breakfast because I think I need something to eat so I stop rambling and then we shall go from there. This really does not hit as well as the crunchy you nut. Know, I don't know where the obsession has come from this week, but I bought some actually last week. I bought some at the start of last week and I literally was craving breakfast every single day because I was so obsessed with this crunchy nut cereal and I don't know why. Like it's not as if it's the first time I've had it. I was literally just obsessed with it and this just really is not cutting it. This is the honey and nut cluster one and the chocolate cluster one is a lot better, but it's still nothing on the normal crunchy nut, which I really, <laughs> really, really want right now. How interesting, such an interesting Monday morning cereal chat. I've now had breakfast. The sun is shining really awkwardly into my face, which is why I've got my hand here. But as you can see behind me, I have finally managed to put together my Pilates machine, which if you haven't seen my spend the day with me video, you're gonna be a little bit confused as, not necessarily confused as to what this is, but basically go and watch that video because I went and picked it up that day and explained about it and started putting it together. But at the end of that video, I said I couldn't finish putting it together and I was gonna get dad to do it. But actually yesterday, I was a strong independent woman and I managed to put it together myself. So my reformer Pilates machine is now put together and ready to be used. So I'm gonna use it for the first time this morning. I'm just gonna put like a thing up on YouTube, like a tutorial because I've never done this before. And um, we're gonna do like a quick little reformer Pilates machine just cause I really wanna try it out. Um, I need to give it a proper deep clean, which I will do later on. But for now I just wanna try it out and like test it out before I then get on with actually the things that I need to do today. I've gone with this one. We've currently got a cream egg advert, but Pilates 20 minute beginner class. Something quick and easy because I need to get on with my day, but I also want to try this out. Like I said, I'm beginner because I've never done this before. Change the trampoline -y bit over for the bar because the bar is apparently what we're using in this workout, which actually works better because I really do need to give that trampoline a clean. Although, oh no. The bar doesn't fit. Oh, move the whole sofa. I want to build the back of the legs working so you think of pressing the thigh bones and from the sit bones through the heels. <laughs> Once again, working the front and the back. I don't know what it is about workouts being done like sped up, but I just think it's hilarious. Like watching back this clip just makes me laugh so much. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Oh, 
loving. <laughs> this was the best £45 I have ever spent on Facebook Marketplace because it's the only £45 I've spent on Facebook Marketplace. But it's also the best £45 I've ever spent because this is so fun. Like, I feel like I'm going to do this so frequently because I find it fun, which I think is really important with exercise. Like, you have to enjoy it to actually then want to do it, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I need to concentrate on my class. I'm meant to be in a lesson right now, so... Oh my god. Flipping out. I can't bend that far. Huh? Job done. And that was honestly so fun. I'm kind of loving this. This is definitely a new hobby. I'm going to get changed and then I will see you in a second. Okay, we are now heading off to Aldi. I need to do a food shop. I Last night I planned out all the meals that I want to eat this week. So I've worked out, I hope I've worked this out correctly, but I've worked out everything that I need to buy for those meals. I need to get a few things for lunches as well. Um, I need to get my crunchy nut cereal. Um, and I'm just gonna see what else takes my fancy because I do love the food shop because I don't do it that often because I don't like always live on my own. Um, when I do get to do it, it's quite fun because I can pick what I want. Uh, I've got my shopping bags ready, I've got my Percy Pig one, and I've got this Sweetie one, and then I've also got a Whole Foods one, um, which is like my go-to, but it's quite small. Um, I've got that one just in case. Don't know why I'm talking you through what shopping bags I'm bringing with me, because that's not that interesting. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to Aldi, do a food shop, um, and then we should go from there. But yeah, my Reformer Pilates... Where's my car starting? There we go. That Reformer Pilates machine I absolutely love. And my mum was like, you're gonna use it for like three months and then um, you, like the novelty will wear off. And I can kind of see that happening, but also I feel like if I stick at it enough now and make it part of my routine, I could definitely keep it going because I actually really enjoyed doing that. Like that was actually fun. It's really different to anything I've ever done before. And I really like that. Uh, anyway, I'm now gonna head off. We're gonna go and do a food shop together and then we shall go from there. It is 9.51 for reference, which I don't think is bad. Bear in mind, I've walked the dogs this morning. I've got myself ready for the day and I've done a reformer Pilates little workout. Yeah, it was only a small one, but um, I just wanted to like test it out and stuff. And now we're gonna go and do a food shop. So I keep saying that. How many times have I said that? Let's just get going. I'm currently listening to this like, so I've got a playlist on Spotify, which um, I've been listening. You know that when you're listening to a playlist on Spotify and you've like finished up listening to all the songs that are on your playlist and then Spotify plays suggested songs? I'm in that stage at the moment and I'm really enjoying it because I don't know what songs this lighting. I don't know, this always happens when I'm driving and this is why I hate filming clips or videos in the car because this lighting always changes. Um, but yeah, I never know what song's coming next and they've actually put some really good songs on here. So that is what I'm listening to at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. I did also say I was gonna get changed as well. Um, but then I decided actually, I'm just gonna go out and wear my and just chuck my coat on top because I just, I just wanna be comfy and I thought, what am I actually gonna get changed into? All I'm doing is going to Aldi. Like it's not a fashion show, even though sometimes I do make it a bit of a fashion show because when I'm like just working at home and it's only me seeing what I'm wearing, sometimes I like to put a bit of effort into my Aldi outfit because that's like the only time I'm going out, but that's, that's not the case today. I wanna be comfy, so. Anyway, I'm gonna listen to some music now, shut up. Yeah, yeah, cause girls is players too. About to catch another fight. If you broke, then you better let them go. You can have anybody, anybody more. Uh, and I have realized I have forgotten a pound coin for the trolley. So I'm really hoping I can find a stray one. I always seem to do this, but I thought of it earlier. I was like, I need to bring a pound coin with me. And then I thought I had one in my car, but I in fact do not. The only coin I have is a 50p, uh, which is not gonna work. So I, sometimes they just have the stray trolleys that like are coinless and I can use. So I'm hoping um, I will be able to find one of them, but that is our first task of today. Well, not today, first task of this little outing. Um, I also need to buy a new car tripod because this one just like moves all over the place. It's really getting on my nerves. So, oh, like that. You now can't see me. Um, yeah, I need to get a new car tripod and that has literally just proven my point. That is very ironic. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm going to reverse park because I'm actually becoming a really big fan of reverse parking. Like, I reverse park at home to get in the... Well, actually, I say that, but now I've just forward parked. But I might just reverse park into the space behind me. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm actually such a big lover of reverse parking now. Like, I never used to reverse park. I always used to forward park in spaces. Other than at home on my drive, like, I reverse park every single time I drive, like I have done ever since I passed my test, which actually came off my Snapchat memories, like yesterday the day before like i passed four years ago and it's making me feel kind of old yeah i'd always reverse park when i was at home but i would never reverse park when i was out and then this year like literally first of january i just started reverse parking and i prefer it so much more now like it's so much easier to get out of the car parking space especially with my car because it's convertible i have a massive blind spot like this is obviously all black and then like back here there's like massive blind spots where the convertible roof is whereas normally there would be a window um and also my back windscreen is tiny again because it's convertible like it is literally probably the hardest car to reverse in because it's got like half the vision that a normal car would have in terms of the back if that makes sense so it's just easy to reverse park because in a car park you know there's cars going over anyway i'm rambling i need to now go and find my stray shopping trolley that i'm hoping I will manage to find otherwise I can't fit all my shop in a basket so wish me luck. I think this is success yes perfect 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 I found a stray trolley let's go and do this food shop. Yeah, that's a good idea actually, it's a very good point. Yeah. The trolley is filling up with some slightly random things. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going to put this. I'll do a haul when I get home, but this is probably the most random thing I have picked up so far. Context is required. <laughs> shop is done i'm gonna pack it all into the car and then there's a drink i want to try at costa they've come up with, like this new drink so we're gonna get that in a minute but first off i've got to try and fit my big food shop in a mini cooper which is always a struggle um but i should have only bought enough food for one person so i should be able to do it put my trolley back where I found it so someone else who does the same thing as me who gets their pound can also now have a trolley and uh, Hiya. Hiya, do you still have the like Rolo milkshake thing? The Rolo milkshakes, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. No. Oh no. Okay, that's right. Sorry. thank you. It was a slight fail. Is this gonna stand where I want it to? Not really. I wanted this Rolo milkshake, like it was a chocolate caramel milkshake thing from Costa. And I checked before I went in and it still had it on the app. And then I went in there and they didn't have it on any of the boards or anything. So I was like, oh, do you still have it? And they were like, oh no. So it's annoying because it's still on the app, but this is what I wanted. And look at how delicious that looks. And I never got to try it because they came out with it just before I went away to Vietnam and Cambodia. And then it they got- It doesn't look like oh. you have an app named Delicious Alex. You'll need to get that from the app store first. Okay. And then they like discontinued it. Like I think they basically only had it out for Valentine's Day. So they literally had it out for like a week, I think. And I was away for Valentine's Day. So I missed out on that, but oh well. I'm now gonna go home. I'll give you a little food shop haul when I get home and I need to unpack it. I didn't catch that. Siri, catch I am not talking to you. Please. <laughs> hey Siri. Shuffle lessons by Stormzy on Spotify. <laughs> until that song had finished because i was really enjoying that I definitely should just go around the other side to get all this stuff out rather than just leaning over but here we are okay, okay, i am going around the other side okay let's go inside hello missed you missed you yes i did what what <laughs> did you miss me oh you're 
they're so cute. I don't think I've got any milk over them. Okie dokie. Move it, Scoochie. Come on, Stanley Tucci. It is now time for a food shop haul. We will obviously start off with these because I kept going on about them this morning. I got my cereal. They do actually have the real crunchy nut in Aldi as well, but I'm actually loving honey nut, which is obviously the dupe. Um, the dupe, Aldi dupe. So I got that. Um, I got some milk. Some salad for a taco bowl thing that I want to make, but they didn't have any taco shells. But So I'm going to do that later in the week because I'm going to go back out again this week. So hopefully I can get some taco shells from somewhere else because they didn't have everything I needed. Um, got some stir fry veg for this like beef stir fry prawn cracker salad type thing I'm doing tonight. Um, and I've got some bean sprouts for that as well. And also just the steak to go um, to have as the beef. Oh, and then also the prawn crackers. And then I've got these pretzels, which are beer shaped, which is very random, but I just needed some salted pretzels. And these were the only ones they had, so I got those. I got some corn cakes to try. I've never had these and I didn't actually get anything to go on them. Um, I don't really know what to put on them, um, but they look like this. I mean, I could put bananas, honey, strawberry, and some sesame seeds, because that's what they've got on those, but I'm not feeling that. I want something savoury, but again, I can work on that later in the week. I think I'll probably pop to Waitrose on Wednesday to get some taco shells. There's a few other bits I needed and maybe some toppings for those. Uh, I got some chocolate coated rice cakes, so I absolutely love them. Um, I got some crispy m and dupe, uh, with crispy chocums, basically crispy m &Ms. Uh, I've not tried them before, but I thought I'd get them. Some mini rolls. Um, some sticky teriyaki chicken thigh bites. These were in the freezer. I've not tried these before, but I thought these looked quite nice. And with some rice for a quick and easy lunch. Um, I've got these, some pink panther mallow fingers. Um, just kind of fancied them. I saw them in the middle aisle. Um, I've got some Mexican style grains and some Mexican style spicy rice, which... Um, this I need for a dinner, which I think I'm going to have next week, but I thought I might as well get it now, just in case. Um, and these grainy things look nice as well. I got this chicken shawarma and couscous ready meal just for lunch, because I like to have quick and easy things for my lunch. This looked really nice. It's got, like, couscous and this, like, um, some, like, veggies and this, like, mint yoghurt dressing and some chicken. And then I got a giant, this bag is mainly all, like, fruit because I wanna, when I was in Vietnam, I literally was obsessed with the juices over there because they use like fresh fruit that was ripened on the tree and it was absolutely delicious and they were super, super cheap. And I was literally drinking juices every single day and I miss that. And we do actually have a juicer um, at home and it's not gonna be the same because like the pineapple and stuff isn't gonna be the same. But I thought like apples and oranges I could juice. So I got a giant bag of apples to juice and also I probably will just eat a couple of those as normal apples as well. I got some bananas just because I needed some bananas and I'm running out of space so they can sit on there. And then I got three packs of oranges. These are just the wonky oranges, um, just cause they're the cheapest and I'm just using them for juicing. So I thought that would make sense. And then I got a big bag of potatoes, which I'm actually just gonna pop in here now because they live in there and that will free up a little bit of space. I got some salsa to go with the like taco bowl that I'm doing. And then I also got this like um, pulled pork thing because I needed pulled pork for two meals this week. Um, and this serves two, so I can have one for one meal and one for another. And it's like nice and quick and easy. Like I don't have to get a whole joint of pork or whatever. I got these Fibre Now popcorn bars because they look delicious. I got a bar of mint aero because I always tend to have a craving for that and I had it in the middle aisle. I got these cookie dough slices. I got this because I've seen this a few times on TikTok and people say it's really, really nice and I really want to try and like wine. Like I just do not like it, but I want to try and get into it. So I thought if a lot of people like this, maybe this is a good place to start. And it's also an absolutely stunning bottle. I think it's meant to be a dupe of Whispering Angel, but I'm not too sure if it's this one or a different one because there seems to be a lot of different things going on on TikTok about it, but look at how pretty that is. So I thought I'd try that maybe on Thursday. Thursday evening. Is it a bit sad to have a bottle of wine? Not a bottle of wine, but like a glass of wine to myself. Maybe, but if I drink it with you guys, it'll be fine. I also got this, um, this peach limeade, because it sounded delicious. And they also had a kiwi lemonade, which I was tempted by, but I didn't get this time. I did originally pick up this like 
passion fruit porn star mocktail just like fizzy drink because sometimes i just want a fruity drink but then i changed it for this because i thought that sounded nicer and the last couple of bits i've got are just some pasta and then i got these these are fruit gems i've never seen these before um but they're just like a fruity snack that normally for kids lunch box and i normally love these kind of things so i thought i'd get them and then i got these which are just like the fizzy classic rain by belt things but i saw a tiktok yesterday where someone put these on a plate and they like rolled them up and they put them on a plate and then they put them in the freezer for 24 hours and they said it's like their favorite snack and i really wanted to try it like just watching the tiktok made my mouth water so i picked up a pack of these um once i put the food shop away i'm gonna put them on the plate like the tiktok I can, oh here's my phone i'll quickly show you the tiktoks i'm talking about and then later on in the weekly vlog we can try these frozen and see what they're like this is the tiktok that i saw and i basically just thought they were delicious so i got those we shall try them and that is basically the food shop so i now need to attempt to put this all away i've literally spread it all out over the kitchen so i'm gonna put this away put those things in the freezer and i'll see you in a bit I've done one little rolly one and one little like squiggly one. I'll do another of each and then I'll pop these in the freezer and it is now <laughs> five to 12. So I should probably get on with doing some work of some variety today. So I'll put these in the freezer. I might get changed um, and then we shall go from there. This is the second time today I'm standing with my hand on my face like this because I've got a window there and if I don't the lighting looks really weird so this is the only way I can make it work. It is also the second time today that I've said I'm going to get changed and I actually just decided to stay in what I'm wearing because I can't really be bothered to get changed. But we're now in my office, you may recognise it because there is a little lamp there but we're just in a slightly different angle to where I normally film but I'm now in here because I need to tidy this place up. Before I went away my focus was on just getting my content filmed and edited whilst i was away that was my priority and tidying up my office i just didn't have time to do it and i just said to myself that i'll concentrate on that when i'm back because i don't need a tidy office to go away on holiday if you know what i mean but i needed my content done um but now in my office i've just got like primark bags of stuff i've got zara boxes from things i've ordered that i need to like decompact and put in the bin and stuff i feel like such an idiot holding my head like this but uh, like i said it's the only way to make the lighting work so yeah i basically need to give my office a tidy up so that is what i'm going to do i'm actually also just going to quickly go through my to-do list for today so that we know what we're doing so i've obviously gone out and done all those bits this morning i need to um get up to date with my order spreadsheet so basically when i place an order online i put it into a spreadsheet and then when i return the stuff if i've returned anything i then keep a note of that to make sure that when the refund comes through i get the correct refund because obviously i do a lot of orders and stuff and if you don't keep on top of it you will realize that you are losing out on money because companies won't refund you for things you return unless you like chase them up sometimes it's happened to me a couple times where i've had to like get in contact with the company basically and say that i'm missing a refund and then when i tell them they then give me the money but they just sort of it gets lost in their system or whatever so i need to get on top of that just to make sure i'm up to date with everything make sure my refunds are correct um i need to tidy my bedroom i need to tidy my office i've not got any i'm obviously filming this but i've not got any other videos to film today kind of want to get my hair washed and I might plan some Instagram content because I really want to get back on Instagram uh, with posting frequently and I've got a few like outfit ideas in my head so I just kind of want to get them written down um, and like planned out with all the items of clothing so I don't forget them so I basically just got little bits and bobs to do. It is currently 12 16 so I'm gonna tidy up my office and watch some YouTube videos whilst I do so then I'll have some lunch. This is actually really hurting my arm holding my head like this um then we'll go from there. Okay let's let's pick a youtube video i don't know why in fact i'm going to take this out my phone now this is like a little card that you know like a business card type thing i've i'm covered in reggie hair just ignore that um like a little card of the first hotel we stayed in and i put it in the back of my phone because a tour guide told me to do that in case i got lost 
and I've not taken out since. That is the first thing. This can go in the rubbish pile. I've achieved one thing. Now let's actually pick a YouTube video and get this room tidied. This is just a slight example of what I'm currently dealing with. This is like part of my desk. I've got this Kit Kat matcha thing that I got in Vietnam that I still need to try. This lip balm, which I bought in New York. I still haven't tried it, so I've put it on my desk to remind me. Um, this note from a mug that I bought. I bought these from Hobbycraft the other day, these like wooden Easter egg decorations. Need to do something with them. This is my old laptop. When it died on me, the guy at the Apple store gave me this, which is my hard drive. On the slight off chance, I might be able to find an adapter to get all the information off that. I've given up with that, so that can just go in the bin. But I feel like I don't want to get rid of this just in case, but I've moved on now. I've got a thank you note, and I'm not even sure. Oh, this is from the mug I bought. I've got some like cinnamon toast crunch croc charms. They don't need to be on my desk. You know what I mean? I just need to tidy this up. I've just got like all these Primark bags of things that I have bought. These are literally still sat in here for the Primark haul that I filmed because I filmed the Primark haul and then went away on holiday. So I need to like put them away and everything. Like I just have bits and bobs lying around. So that is the task now to actually get things put away. This is so bad and I know that this is so bad, but this box here is um, my box of birthday presents. Now, not everything is still in here. I have taken some things out that obviously I have used, but like, yeah, my birthday card, which is slightly bent. Um, I have all my birthday presents still in here, which literally, I filmed my walk off my birthday back in January and now the presents are still here. Like, I just haven't put them away. Like, I've got my sister's and seeker jumper, but like, because I went obviously away to Vietnam, like three weeks and it was summery i've not been needing jumpers so that's why that just hasn't that just hasn't been put away <laughs> i forgot i had this a giant box of ferrero rochers will i be sitting on the sofa and consuming these tonight whilst i catch up on love island probably i literally spent the whole day yesterday watching love island which i never normally do but i just needed a really chill day at home and that is exactly what i had and it was the most amazing thing and i literally watched love island because i've got about 30 episodes to watch because obviously I was away. How many times am I going to say that? Um, so <laughs> I caught up on quite a lot yesterday. So I'm going to catch up on some more tonight. And I have a lot of delicious snacks in this box that I could eat whilst I do that. Josh bought me these hair bands for my birthday. And again, they're just something I haven't got around to wearing yet. And I really want to. And I keep seeing people wearing hair bands as well. Like these headbands. Like I keep seeing them on my Instagram. And I really want to start like, getting into wearing them. Um, Oscar's gonna mess my hair up. I feel like a proper yoga mum today, like driving the Range Rover, did my reformer Pilates, done my food shop, got my like Lululemon jacket dupe thing on and now I'm popping on this headband. I can't see what this looks like because the viewfinder is so far away. But what do we think? I don't know if I look a bit idiotic in or not. It reminds me of the scene from Home Alone 3, which is gonna be a very niche thing that not many people are gonna probably understand where I'm coming from because probably not many people have seen that film, but I absolutely love Home Alone, so I watch like all of them all the time. I decided to cut that story out because I realized it was actually really boring and I was just rambling and I decided to save you those 30 seconds of your life and just delete it from the video. I have had some lunch and we're now back in the car very spontaneously, I've got, little bit of curtain bangs sticking up there. I don't really know what that's doing. Uh, as you can probably see is this bit as well. The sun is now shining and it's absolutely lovely and I feel a little bit um, wrongly dressed in all black and a black puffer coat. But I'm just wearing what I wore earlier and I kind of feel like I should have got changed. But like I said, very spontaneous um, trip out because Sophia just messaged me saying that she's left uni early so she asked me if I wanted to meet her. So I'm going to go and meet her for coffee at Starbucks. So I'm kind of glad I didn't get that Costa drink earlier now. Like everything happens for a reason and everything because I'm now going to go and get starbucks and i'm pretty sure that starbucks have this like chocolate pretzel drink which i really want to try i don't know if they still have it though it might be like the rollo thing they might have stopped doing it but i'm hoping they have it so i can go and get that um so yeah it is now like half past one i think and i'm just going to pop into town to meet sophia and then when i get back i was going to wash and dry my hair today um i've tidied my office then i had lunch and now we're here so i probably won't get all my to-do list done today because i'm now going out for a couple hours um but i can just move it to tomorrow so that's fine but anyway i need to get going okay i'm gonna go to starbucks now i'll see you later um i did get the pretzel by the way i'm just gonna quickly try this and then i'm gonna yeah, then um i need to talk to Sophia so the camera's going off but is this ice blonde vanilla oat shake espresso this is weird i'm gonna try it i'm oh i quite like that I do prefer the nice, brown but sugar I prefer the other one. because that's just a bit. I don't know. Um, yeah, I do prefer the other one. They still have the other one, though, don't they? Toasted vanilla. Interesting. I think it's just vanilla. I think that's just vanilla. Guys, we're just adding a bunch of it. Mm. Mm. I'm 
enjoying that. Really? Yeah. I can't. There is something salty there. I can't. I wouldn't say it's pretzel, but it's. Mmm. It's, it's nice. Oh, that's nice. I, oh, and I also got some free because I had enough weight, so. That's, even nicer. That's really good. Mmm. Even better because it's free. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for being free. Yeah. Maybe even 11 tonight. Yeah, maybe 11 out of 10. I'm now home. It is quarter past four. Mum, dad, and dogs have just left to go to Cornwall. So I'm now officially living on my own. Um, and I need to get on with some work because, as you can tell, I've not done a huge amount of work today. I also need to put a lip mask on my lips because they are literally the driest I think they've ever been. See, so yeah, I'm going to do a bit of work now. Um, I'm going to do my order spreadsheet that I was explaining earlier and I am going to finish editing the spend the day with me video that I filmed last Thursday ready for that to go live tomorrow. This is such an awkward angle I don't know why I'm leaning like this. Um, so I'm going to get that edited now um, and then once I've done that I'll go from there as to whether I do any more work or not just depending on timings. I'm rambling now um, and I need to get on with some work because I've not done a lot today so I'm going to do that for a bit and I'm going to um, just have some YouTube videos on in the background. Good morning everyone, it is currently 8.02 and I've just come on a little walk, um, this is what I'm going to listen to, I'm going to listen to a Sphere and Chainsy podcast, I couldn't find my running trainer so I've just chucked to my converse, not that I'm going running anyway, but I just felt like going on a walk to start my day off, I need to clear my head a little bit, um, I woke up this morning, my negative anxious thoughts were trying to kind of creep in but I managed to fight them off which I'm feeling really good about, but I thought if I come on a walk I can just like start the day off with a bit of fresh air, clear my head and then I'm going to go back and get ready and get on with some filming. Um, so I'll have a bit more of a chat with you about that in a bit but I just thought I'd update you not on camera right now because I look like a slightly hot mess from literally just rolling out of bed um, but I'm going to listen to this and I will have a chat with you in a bit um, when I'm looking a little bit more presentable I will see you later hello everyone it is now Tuesday I filmed a clip this morning which you've already seen of me going on a walk and then literally ever since then I've been in between getting ready going for walks and then I've just finished filming some Zara Hall trial and clips which is why I have these trousers on which are exceedingly too big for me but yeah this morning I've just felt a little bit um just not felt the best basically if you don't know I think I mentioned this in like um a spend the day that I did in January but basically me and my family now have two homes we have one here like near Cambridge and one in Cornwall and me and my parents kind of split our time between the house in Cornwall and the house here um so they've now gone down there and I am here because I need to stay here for work and I don't cope very well living at home on my own I think it basically all stems from when I went to uni again if you don't know I went to uni um, I lasted a couple of, well I lasted about three months and then I ended up dropping out because I developed anxiety whilst I was there um, and I had really bad mental health issues basically and I just couldn't cope and I think it's all stemmed from that so now when I live at home on my own when my parents are in Cornwall I feel like it triggers things from the past and it just like I basically need to uncondition my brain from those past experiences but obviously that's a little bit difficult so basically I don't cope very well living on my own and I know some people literally thrive and love living on their own um but I just don't do very well at it so last night I did some work after mum and dad left which I think yeah I did a bit of vlogging of that and then I basically just felt a little bit low so I was on FaceTime with Josh for a bit um I didn't really fancy much for dinner like I've obviously like I planned literally all my meals this week but when I'm not feeling the best I don't really have much of an appetite so I just had like a pizza that I had in the fridge um which mum and I got from Waitrose last week anyway long story about pizza I had that for my dinner so I didn't end up cooking the beef dish that I was going to cook which I might have tonight um and then this morning I woke up feeling kind of okay but it's basically self-sabotage like my brain just tries to like put in all these negative thoughts into my mind which then makes me like anxious and stuff it's just basically not helping myself out so I went on some walks to clear my head which definitely helped I've got my Zara Hall charm clips filmed which is good um, it's like half past 12 now. I'm gonna have some lunch in a bit, but I've got a tummy ache, which is just not ideal. But I feel like if I eat something, it might help. And then this afternoon, I think I'm gonna go to where I work. I basically go out to work one day a week just to like socialize with people. And this is exactly why. I think the main reason why I struggle so much living on my own is that obviously my job is this. I'm talking, obviously I'm talking to you guys, but for me right now, I'm literally talking to a camera. Like I don't talk to anyone during the day. I don't work with anyone. It's me, myself and I working for myself so I don't really have any socialization whereas I think if I went out the house every day nine to five to like go to work I would be okay living on my own but because I'm living on my own and I'm working from home and it's just me 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 
and I'm not seeing a else. I think that's where I struggle. But basically I work one day a week on a Friday like for that reason so that I can have socialization and like so that I can go out the house and do something and I absolutely love my job there and although it's Tuesday I'm gonna go there um just to see the people I work with I'm gonna get like some cake and I'm gonna sit there and do some editing for a couple of hours just because then I'm getting out of the house I'm socializing with some people because I've literally not spoken to a single person yet today I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a catch up and an update keeping it real um I'm not gonna pretend that my life is all sunshine and rainbows because this brain up here is not quite right <laughs> I'm rambling I'm gonna tidy up a little bit from filming now I've got a couple of TikToks that I'd quite like to film so I'm gonna try and film them and then I'm gonna have some lunch and then we should go from there. It is now lunch time and I'm gonna have this. Let me stand this way. Oh no, I thought the lighting might be better, but maybe not, there we go. Um, I've never seen this before and or tried it. And or tried it, don't even know if that makes sense. Basically gonna have this spiced sweet corn and potato soup. Mum and I went to Waitrose on Friday of last week, uh, which is when I got the pizza I had for dinner last night actually, which I can show you, because I've still got half of it left in the fridge. Just in case anyone cares, this is what I had for my dinner last night. It was absolutely delicious. The other half is kind of tucked in there. Um, very lovely pizza, but I don't really fancy eating corns right now. Like I was gonna have the other half of that for my lunch, but I've got a bit of a tummy ache, like I said, so I don't really fancy eating corns now. Um, I still feel like spicy food with a tummy ache probably isn't the best idea but i'm gonna go with this anyway yeah i thought i'd just show you my lunch because i'm kind of intrigued by this when i saw it in waitress it was the last one there so i decided that i needed to get it and i wanted to try it so i'm gonna have this for my lunch it's like 10 to 2 because um, i'm not super hungry so i'm having a bit of a late lunch but i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna get on doing some editing you're like resting on the windowsill but i just thought i'd have a little bit of an update that i don't actually think i'm gonna go out this afternoon like i was thinking that earlier because i just felt like if i get out it might help me feel a bit better and like socialize with people but i'm actually feeling really good right now which i'm so happy about but um i literally just wanted to show you and like update you on that to like what is that doing somewhere i do not want that in the frame i don't know why i'm stood like this either like i'm literally leaning on my leg and i'm not too sure why um but yeah i just wanted to show you that like it literally can be like ups and downs with things like this like i know there's a lot of people out there that have like mental health issues so you can probably relate but and i feel like it's one of those things that like you don't understand it until you go through it yourself and even now I kind of don't really understand it because like why would my own brain be doing things that are making me upset? Like it doesn't make sense, but like I just wanted to like chat to you about that. Anyway, I need to stop sounding like a flamingo and I'm gonna I'm gonna have my soup and then I'm gonna get on with some editing. I've just finished having my lunch and halfway through my spicy sweet corn soup, this arrived in the post. Is it in the post? Because this came from every and does that class as a post or is the post just Royal Mail? Postman vibes. I don't know. Anyway, this got delivered halfway through my lunch and I thought we could open it up together. Um, I saw these on Boohoo yesterday when I was just having like a little scroll and I basically couldn't resist them. I don't think I should put them on the table though actually because I'm pretty sure that's bad luck and I do not want that. Um, I already have these in black from Boohoo which I really love but let me just open them up and you're going to see why I felt like I needed to get this colour as well. As you may be able to tell from the box, they are I love, I love, I love, I'm happy I got these. Um, these are a pair of shoes and they are a dupe of like the Ugg Tasmans. Uh, like I said, I already have them in black. These are a beige pair and I am obsessed. I'm like, I was like, do I need the beige pair as well? Because I already have the black pair. And then I do also think this jumper could be quite dirty. <laughs> I just chucked it on when I finished filming. So if you can see any dirty marks on it, like the Reggie Slobber, then proceed um but yeah i was like do i really need the beige as well as the black but then i thought you know what these like with a pair of like wide leg beige trousers would look so nice because i kind of struggled to think what like say i'm going out shopping i've got like a oversized white t-shirt beige wide leg trousers on i don't want to wear trousers like i don't want to wear trainers but these with beige wide leg trousers i just thought would look really good like because you'd have just that bit peeking out and i thought I don't know. I just thought that would look really good. I don't know if I've explained that well at all. Let me give you a little close up so you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, it's basically an Ugg Tasman dupe and look at how nice. The colour scheme on this is everything. This bit is like a baby blue, but it kind of looks a bit greyy as well. Um, and then it's like cream and then they are lovely and soft. The inside feels amazing. I got these in a size five, um, which I'm pretty sure is what the ones that I got. I'm pretty sure I got the last ones in a size five. So let's do a Cinderella test and check that they fit which they do which i'm obsessed with they don't look very good on oh my god they don't look very good on right now because i've got like my socks pulled up and everything it doesn't really work with this outfit but these 
feel nice. I'm really happy with these. I'm so glad I got them. I do feel like they probably will sell out quite quickly just because they are like an Ugg Tasman dupe. I think they're like £25. And often with Boohoo, you can get like 20, 30% off with discount codes. So they're going to be about £20, which I did not think was bad at all. If I remember, I will leave these linked down below um, because because you might want them. Um, I'm now gonna go do some editing. So I'm gonna go up into my office and I need to finish today's video because it's Tuesday today. Um, and I've got a video going live at five, which I need to finish off editing and get it uploaded and make a thumbnail and all that. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do some more editing after that of other things, I think. Okay, let's go. Good evening. I'm now gonna have some dinner. It is about half past six. I have been editing all afternoon and I've actually really enjoyed it. Um, and I've been in a really good mood and I'm not that anxious. So that is a win. But tonight I'm gonna have like a kind of beef stir fry. Uh, I've got some stir fry veg here and some bean sprouts. But when we're in Vietnam, we kept having these like, um, I think they were like banana leaf or something. No, not banana leaf. I can't remember what they were, but they were basically like, a kind of salad with like pork in or beef, loads of like bean sprouts, so kind of like this but cold. And then they served it with prawn crackers and you like put the stuff in the prawn crackers and ate it like a sandwich and it was really delicious. And I've just been kind of fancying it and craving it. So I'm going to kind of do that, but I'm going to do this hot with like a sauce on it. And I am going to put a little bit of rice with it, but like not as much rice as I'd normally have kind of have that like together and then put it in the prawn crackers as like a sandwich thing like how we had in vietnam the entire tub of the charlotte tilbury magic cream i loved this it is expensive but it's just so like oats good morning everyone it's now wednesday and as you may be able to tell from the jumper that i'm wearing the fact that i currently have a pair of sporty leggings on i am going to yoga this morning i'm pretty much ready i just need to have some breakfast i've got my water and my hot pod yoga towel ready to go so yeah i literally just need to have some breakfast and put my shoes on and then we can go which is good because I'm starting to run out of time. For breakfast, I'm gonna have these, which I got in my Spend the Day With Me video last week and I haven't tried them yet. They're the extremely cheesy M&S hot crust buns and I thought we could try them together. So I'm gonna have one of them for breakfast now. I have woken up this morning feeling amazing. Like yesterday morning, like I said, I didn't actually like get properly anxious, but I could feel anxious thoughts were trying to creep in. So I was trying to like fight them off yesterday morning, which I actually did pretty well. And then yesterday afternoon and evening, I was literally so good, which I'm so happy about. And this morning I've woken up feeling amazing. Like I've got a lot planned for today. I'm gonna to be out and about doing different things, which I think is definitely what helps. So anyway, breakfast now, then I've got hot pod yoga 9.30 to 10.30, but I need to be leaving at like 10 to nine just to be on the safe side. Anyway, right. Mm. Oh my god, these smell delicious. Oh no, we've only got four minutes left on the SD card and we're only on Wednesday. That's an issue. Right, okay, cool. It was all going so well when I woke up and now I'm running out of storage on my SD card and I've just got the hot crust bun out the packet and it's got a mouldy bottom so I can't eat this and I've just bought these hot cross buns which now have to go in the bin which is a big waste of food and it's also a big waste of my money and now I've not got to try them and now I don't know what I'm gonna have for breakfast and yeah great <laughs> good 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 right I did get them six days ago to be fair so that probably is my fault I just didn't think they'd go mouldy that quickly I hadn't even thought about them going mouldy I just thought oh they might be a bit stale oh fuck's sake instead I'm just gonna have a classic bowl of my beloved honey nut cereal but I am also actually gonna have although having said that this is also from last Thursday um so maybe I won't let me just give it a smell okay yeah that's fine I'm gonna have this salted caramel brownie frappuccino that I tried the other day but I didn't finish it because when I was lying in bed this morning I saw a TikTok of someone saying that like you should blend this with ice and then it's more like an actual frappuccino texture rather than not being a frappuccino texture so I'm just gonna pop it in my blender and blend it with some ice and then I should hopefully have a salted caramel brownie frappuccino this morning which will be better than a moldy hot crust bun uh, so I'm gonna have this and a quick just blush that down my jumper. Yeah, I'm going to hot pod flow class this morning, which I'm not gonna lie, are my least favorite, because they do like a nurturing flow, foundation flow and hot pod flow, and they go up in like difficulty in that order. And hot pod flow is just like a very intense workout, but like yoga, and it's in 37 degree heat, so it's absolutely boiling and I'm gonna sweat my tits off. So yeah, it's gonna be hot anyway. I'm gonna have a nice cold drink now before I go to my sweltering hot workout session, um, and I need to sort out something with this SD card. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. 
I'm now in the car. I'm just about to head off to Hot Podjoga. I thought I'd show you my Frappuccino, which didn't really work. I think I needed a lot more ice. It's just kind of made it like this is literally all froth. It's just made it really frothy, froth, frothy, um, and not very Frappuccino-y. But oh well, I'm going to drink that in the car on the way. I didn't have time to change my watch strap. I managed to find my like watch strap that I wear for the, like exercise and stuff but I didn't have time to change it I decided it was gonna be too much of a faff so don't judge me for wearing that watch strap when I'm about to literally sweat anyway I need to get a move on um so yeah it is like nine a quarter to nine um I am probably leaving way too early but like I'd rather be early than late and also like I like to get in the pod early and do like a little bit of a warm-up and stuff before the class starts so I'm gonna go to Hot Pod Yoga now I don't know if I'll film any clips like I'm not gonna bring my camera with me but I might try and film some clips on my phone but I don't know it just depends how busy it is and stuff um but yeah I've got an hour class and then I will see you after my class to run some errands and things like that <laughs> now here the door you can't see it but like the door's there and then it's basically if you don't know what hot pod yoga is it's basically this giant inflatable pod and they heat it up to 48 degrees and then you just do yoga in it so i am here i'm very early because of the not being the road closure it's only 8 59 my class isn't till half nine but you are meant to get here about 15 minutes early to be fair but anyway water is ready my hot pod yoga towel is ready plus a clip in case um i want to like clip my hair off my neck even though it's in a ponytail it gets so hot in there like i literally just want to like get my hair fully fully off my neck so bring that with me as well um i'm just gonna go on my phone for a bit whilst we'll i wait to go in this is the pod i've got it to myself for a second you can't really see it because it's dark but it's like this big inflatable and then it's got like diffusers to make it smell really nice and like the heat it is honestly so nice and mess but um i'll chat to you about it in a bit but i'm now done and that was actually a really really good yoga class i really enjoyed that i also just had a thing come up on my watch saying that i burnt the most killer calories i think it said in a yoga session ever now i haven't been wearing my watch to my most recent yoga sessions um because i just like forgot about it but still i've now got this little like award slash badge thing on my watch which i'm tough with and i wasn't expecting that because i feel like the last few yoga sessions i've done were harder than today's one but then again I didn't wear my watch for those so obviously that would make sense but anyway i'm happy with that a win is a win so we'll take it i have very quickly tried some makeup on like literally took me five minutes so if it looks like it took me five minutes then that's why because it did i'm gonna quickly pop into tesco because i need to get some taco shells for dinner tonight slash tomorrow night i was gonna go to waitrose um but that's in the center of town and then you have to pay for parking and i couldn't really be bothered to have to go to the center of town so i've come to tesco because it's like more in the outskirts and it's free parking so i'm just gonna quickly pop to tesco i am gonna get a trolley i don't need a trolley because i'm not gonna be getting enough stuff to get a trolley but i don't really like baskets i find them really annoying to carry and also there is a chance i could come up with a trolley's worth of stuff knowing me i've known myself for 22 years i know that it's likely that I buy things that I don't need. So I'm gonna quickly pop to Tesco, get a couple of bits, and then I will see you back in the car. Very tempted, but I do not need. So look at me, be proud of me. I've put that back, because I don't actually need it for once in my life. However, okay, I'm gonna get that. 70p and it's a mini egg one. I was doing so well resisting, but that didn't last very long, did it? I am, however, gonna resist not only this, not only this, but also these. I would have bought these, but 225 for like three eggs, it's not happening. But I just wanted you to appreciate my willpower. I'm not getting anything from this section, and that is very impressive. I seriously need to not do this kind of thing in public when I'm on my own. I really need to not, but I just can't help myself. This is new. I've never seen this before. 
Milk chocolate chip cookie. Oh my God. I'm not going to get it today because I still have my Ben & Jerry's ones, but best believe when I next come to Tesco, I am getting that. Here's a little Tesco out for the day because I did one on m and the other day when I did my spend the day with me. As I did that, these two builders walked past me as I kicked my leg up to show you my shoes, which is really embarrassing. Um, so that's really embarrassing for me. But I've got a Sisters and Seekers hoodie, Lululemon belt bag, leggings are from Abel, and then I've got my Converse on, which are literally falling apart just because I... Um, can you see? <laughs> just because I needed something quick and easy to chuck on. Um, because you don't wear shoes in Hot Yoga, you take them off. So there you go, fit check. <laughs> there i forgot to bring my shopping bag in the shop with me so luckily i did bring them in the car with me though which is good so i just need to transfer everything in do you know what we'll do a haul whilst we're putting everything in i'll show you what i got that makes sense doesn't it i got a new moisturizer because my one is running out this is a simple replenishing rich one i've had the light one recently but thought i'd treat my skin a little bit these are super cheap and i just really like them um, i got some taco shells which is what i went in for i actually wanted taco bowls but they don't seem to do them in this country which is fair enough so that's the next best thing got some nando's peri peri salt because it ran out and we just needed some more and i saw it so i thought i might as well get it got some frank's red hot buffalo sauce for um some chicken wings for dinner got some marshmallows because i literally love marshmallows like i snack on them and i also have them for hot chocolates and again we'd run out got some tuna pate which i have now dropped and it's quite a controversial thing i feel like some people think that's gross but i actually love tuna um and i wanted a topping for those corn cakes i bought the other day so that i could try those corn cakes and i thought that would go on the corn cakes well how many times can i say corn cakes got some guacamole to go with the tacos and the salsa i bought the other day and any leftover i can have on the corn cakes as well as a topping and the last thing i got was this because it was on club card and i couldn't resist because i love these and it's a mini egg one so that's not bad i, I stuck pretty much to script i didn't really stray away from the shopping list which i'm quite impressed with now let's go to b and tempted but once again my willpower is going to be strong today i'm going to put it back there's actually so many things i could have bought today that i haven't bought and i'm very impressed with myself example b there's probably so many examples oh yeah this is example c but i feel like these are really expensive three pound for them but i would absolutely love them oh my god these are so good these are only 49p and they're honestly amazing if you see them in your b&m please get one i'm not going to get one because i don't need it and i'm learning to not buy things i don't need but they are delicious is one pound for mars bar incredibly overpriced yes but it's honeycomb and salted caramel so am i going to buy it also yes i've also just realized that's the most hypocritical thing complaining about the cost of those m ms when i'm spending one pound on a single mars bar but don't argue with the logic of my brain okay this is also another thing i'm tempted to buy it's milo and it's like this chocolate multi drink that tastes like maltesers and we they seem to have this everywhere in vietnam it's quite a popular thing there and i had like ice cream rolls and different flavored things with this and it was delicious so again i don't need it and also it looks like an absolute pain to open but i saw this last time i came in here and i managed to resist then so i think i'm gonna resist for a second time and third time lucky when i next come in i will allow myself to get it like i saw this last time but that was before i went to vietnam and i've never tried it and then i tried it in vietnam and vietnam Nam and absolutely loved it so now i know i like it i kind of want to get it because last time i didn't let myself get it because i didn't know if i'd like it i'm gonna get it next time because i am about to spend a pound on a mars bar so that can be a next time thing example c or d i can't quite remember what we're at with things i'd buy today if my willpower wasn't being as strong as it is because they look delicious but my willpower is going to be strong today like i said we've slightly failed here but we're going to be strong the rest of the time the fact that they still sell easter eggs with mugs included makes my heart so happy i know they're the mugs that sit at the back of the cupboard and people only use when all the other mugs are in the wash but it still makes me happy that this is still a thing like my nostalgia my childhood my childhood heart is happy oh my god i love it i don't know if the dogs would love it though but look at how cute that is and also look at this squeaky chick tempted by that one prefer that one but reggie would probably prefer that one i have now picked these up they're like these ice cream cones um for the dogs not for me um and they're vanilla and peanut butter flavor and you freeze them and then they can eat it and it's like a little ice cream cone. Do I need this? Absolutely not, but do I want this? 110%. But this is what I actually came in for. And they actually have them, these, um, what are these called? Lamps. And it reminds me of the one that I have um, with my filming setup. Slightly different, but I could always paint like white speckles on that to get it to match the one in my filming setup. I thought this could look nice on my desk and it would tie in quite well. So I might get that, but I'm gonna come back like 
after I've walked around the shop because I don't want to carry that around. Um, yeah, look at how cool these look. True to stay cool. I'm not going to give these to the dogs until the summer, so you'll have to wait a few months, but in a weekly vlog in the summer or something, I will um, I'll show you them trying these because I think these are really cool. Definitely unnecessary, but I am going to be getting them. This is making me so happy that they have all the summer stuff out. These plates are kind of cute. They've got like a strawberry one and also a lemon one, and I can't decide if I like these or absolutely hate them. But in case anybody does like them, they're £2.50 and they also have like a big wine glass thing. And they also have some cute like um, picnic bags. That one's kind of cute. These ones are quite sweet, but my favourite one is over here. Um, it's like this lobster, which I think is so cute. And this section is all like sea themed things. I feel like all the owners of Airbnbs in Cornwall or like sea places will eat their heart out of this because every like Airbnb by the sea always just seems to go for a beachy themed decor vibe. Um, just a weird random note. It's a little sea serving plate. That was kind of cute. Like I wouldn't get it, but it is kind of cute. And I also thought these were quite nice. These like rattan effect. Imagine them in the summer like with some rattan like furniture to match that is so cute anyway i've managed to put the mars bar back my willpower was getting stronger and decided i didn't need it because i read the description and i realized it's actually not that different from a normal mars bar so i think i'm getting scammed so at the moment we've just got this and i'll go and get the lamp in a second i do like this it's a candle with citronella it's quite big eight pound but i love the wooden effect on that it just makes me so happy that all this summer stuff is out because it means that summer is on the way even as a 22 year old i have wanted one of these for ages i just can't justify eight pound or even seven pound on them um because i also would not have anything to do with them afterwards but i think these things are the funnest thing ever if I was a child, I literally would have begged my mum for them. Even as a 22 year old, I would still beg my mum for them. I really want them. Like when MS did those mini collectible food items a couple of years ago, I was literally obsessed with that. Like me and Sophia were obsessed with it. And that is basically that in a different form. And I want it, but I'm not going to get it. This is basically a whole vlog clip of things I want in BM that I'm not going to buy. And I'm not sure why we're making this a thing, but apparently we are. And I've now seen this, which is really large and in charge, but I kind of love it. I don't need it. I don't drink beer, but I feel like that could be really nice. Like with the right vibes of a nice, pretty, like neutral house and that for a garden party. I'm here for it, stunning. And also I've just noticed this. That's actually so cute. 26 pound. I don't have a house that I need to buy that for. But when I do, you'll be you'll be coming in that house. <laughs> well, now I've found these, which I'm thinking could be better because I think you can like refill them. So you like put things in them and then they've got like an ice lolly. Do I get both? I definitely want these because I think these are fantastic. But this also feels like a good idea. Maybe I'll just send the link to mum. Send a picture to mum and mum can come and buy them and spend her money on them rather than me. But they've, they've got like a little ice cream cone as well. Maybe next time. These dogs are so spoiled by me. So that can come out of mum's bank account. Also incredibly tempted, a £35 slushy machine. They also have this one, you know, like those ones that you squeeze and make a slushy, but... I want this one. I don't need this one, so I won't be getting it. This is a running theme. I'm getting these, I'm getting the lamp. This is the only thing I'm getting that I didn't actually come in for. So that's quite impressive. I need to get out of this shop now though because we've been in here a while. Tell me how I literally stood and looked, well, actually crouched down and looked through every single lamp to make sure I was picking the one that had no flaws. And I've just opened the door to get it out and I've noticed it's got this brown mark on it, which I've tried to wipe off and it hasn't come off. Tell me how that's happened. I knew this was on here, but I'm planning on painting it a little bit. So that will get covered up, but I'm not sure if I can cover that up with what I'm planning on doing, which is really frustrating. I did get a receipt, so I could return it and exchange it, but that's a lot of faff. So I might try and wipe it with some pink stuff and hope for the best and hope that it doesn't ruin it. But how has this happened? Like I literally checked through them all to make sure this didn't happen. Anyway, I'm now home. I'm gonna unpack all the shopping and then we shall go from there. This is literally how I've just walked through the front door. I've got my lash glue in my hands, which if anyone cares, this is the lash glue that I use and it's honestly amazing. Like this kept my lashes on through hot pod yoga and I was literally sweating so much. Like it's so hot in there. Um, so you just, and you're obviously working out, so you can't help but sweat. And like during the class, I literally saw a drop of sweat drop from my nose onto my towel or my mat. So like, that's how hot it gets. And this literally keeps them on. Like my lashes didn't budge. And I also wore that lash glue when I went to Disneyland. Um, and I went on Space Mountain, which is like so many loops and like really fast. 
kept them on. I went on that ride about four times back to back. So if you're looking for lash glue, this is Swede lash glue and it's amazing. Anyway, need to unpack the shopping. Oh yeah, also, I forgot to say this earlier, but um, I felt like I really needed a Stanley cup this morning because I'm in my Sisters and Seekers yoga hoodie. I've gone to mid morning, like mid Wednesday morning yoga. I feel like a hot Range Rover driving yoga going to mum sort of thing. And I feel like to round off the whole look. Oh, also with the Lululemon belt bag, Felt like I needed a Stanley Cup to round the whole look off. Um, and I've been wanting to get them for ages, but they're all out of stock. However, I found a dupe yesterday on TikTok shop, which they did it in like a nude, because I've seen loads of dupes, but none of them have been what I wanted, but I found one yesterday. So I ordered it off TikTok shop and it's coming in like five to seven days, I think. So it should be here next week. And I'm gonna weekly vlog next week as well, I think. So we can unbox that together next week, which I'm so excited about, because I absolutely love this Starbucks cup. Like it's giant um, and it's amazing, but, I just can't help myself. I love cups of straws in. Like I have about 12 Starbucks cups. Like I am obsessed with them. So I obviously needed a Stanley cup in my collection. Anyway, I need to get this shopping away. I've got some washing that I need to put away here. And I also need to empty the dishwasher because I've not done it in like two days. And all the dirty stuff from even my mum and dad were here has built up. I know that's a little bit embarrassing to admit, but I'm going to admit it. So I need to do the dishwasher. I want to make myself a juice, like a fresh juice, because obviously bought all that juice the other day. How many times am I going to say juice? I didn't buy all that juice. I obviously bought all that fruit the other day, so I want to make a juice out of that. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I'm just going to have my juice and ponder on my thoughts of what I shall do with the rest of my day. Okay, I'm going to make a juice now. I've got orange and apples, but I actually fancy like orange and carrot. I don't know why, I just kind of fancied it, but we don't have any carrots. So I'm just gonna do orange and apples in the juicer, make myself a juice, and then I'm actually also gonna try those corn cakes that I got, where have I put them? Those corn cakes that I got from Aldi on Monday, or whatever day it was, was it Monday? Yeah, it was Monday. These, I'm gonna give these a go, because like I said, I got that tuna pate from Tesco that I can try them with. So it is half 12, so actually no, it's not. It's 10 to one. So probably should have lunch soon, but I'm not super hungry, so I might have a snack and then have a bit of a later lunch. Anyway, no one really cares that much, do they? Let's juice. Slight problem. Uh, the juice is not working. I don't know why. I've put everything together properly, and the last time I used this, this was working absolutely fine. So if this is just RIP'd on me, out of the blue, got a lot of oranges and apples to eat, and I don't really eat oranges. Like, I just, I just don't eat them. I only drink them. So I don't really know what to do now. No juice for me. The juice is well and truly dead. Anyway, no juice for me. I actually don't know what I'm going to do with all this fruit now because I literally bought three bags of oranges and a massive bag of apples specifically for juicing. But anyway, I'm going to try these corn cakes and see what they're like. Oh, these smell like popcorn. Oh, these literally smell like I've just walked into view and there's the 200 pound pick and mix on the side. There's the slushy machines that always tempt me because I love a slushy and a tango ice blast is my favorite thing on this earth, but they're like five pound 60. And then I've got the smell of that popcorn. Oh my God, I have just transported to the cinema. Okay, they definitely do need something with them. Like they kind of taste nice, but they're a little bit dry and a little bit, little bit bland on their own, which is what I thought. Mm, wow, that is delightful. I can definitely see these becoming part of my weekly shop now. I think they're like 82p. I don't even know, but I imagine they're cheap in Aldi and they're delicious. Oh my God, I love. With this lamp anyway but if you're not or we just want to rejig the memory this is the lamp that i got from aldi like last year it was in the middle aisle i think it was like 40 pound and it's a dupe of a white company lamp and this is the lamp that i got from b m so as you can see they're kind of similar they are a slightly different shape like this lamp shade is slightly different but we can still make it work this one is also a little bit smaller but like i said i'm gonna put this on my desk however Having said that, I don't really have any room on my desk for this because I've got so many random decorations on there. So I'm going to need to make some room. I also don't know if it's going to work on my desk because I have slanted walls in this office and this might actually be too tall because, you know, my desk is like here, put the lamp on, might not fit. We might have to make that work. But basically, like I was saying, this lamp has like a concrete style base, but it's got like white splotchy bits on. So if I just get a sponge and some white paint and dot it on, it will then make that 
like a dupe, you know? And I literally get asked by people all the time where this lamp is from, and I tell them it's from Audi, but obviously that's not very helpful because they can't go out and buy it. So if anybody has ever asked me or anybody wants my lamp like this, go to B&M and get this one and just do a little bit of DIY. This is £20 and with some like paint and like sponges, £25 maximum. Fun little DIY, you could do that on a Sunday afternoon to give you something to do. And then you've got a lovely little lamp. And I did also get some other bits in B&M last time I went, which was quite a few weeks ago now, but I've not shown them on here, so I'm just gonna show you. So first up, I got some jars. Wait a second. I basically got these jars. I saw them on a TikTok, fell in love with them, went straight to my B&M and I was so surprised they actually had them because my B&M doesn't always have the things I see on TikTok, but they're these glass jars with this like wooden top and they say preserve fresh food and store on them. And they're like engraved and I just thought these were stunning. So I got two of the small ones, which are two pound. These I honestly feel like look so much more expensive than they are. Like to me, these look like Zara home vibes. And then I also got a larger taller one, which was three pound, which I'm thinking like spaghetti or something. Like I said in B&M earlier, I literally don't have my own house. So I don't actually need any of this stuff, but like, I love these so much that I'm just going to keep them for when I do move out. And then I did also buy this, which was a very unnecessary purchase. Obviously, my willpower was not strong on this day. But I got this mini charcuterie board because I thought this was the cutest thing ever. It was £1.50 and it says, let's eat. And I have not used this yet and I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but... I just kind of got sucked in at the thought that I could make a tiny charcuterie board and film a TikTok on it and it would be really cute for content. And for £1.50, I thought I might as well get it. So now I have a tiny charcuterie board if ever if ever I need one. So little B&M haul. Like I said, I hadn't shown you these bits on YouTube yet. So I thought I might as well chuck them in whilst we were talking about the lamp. This is where I'm thinking of putting the lamp. Uh, this is just a work in progress for a, like an Easter decoration. I need to cut the labels off and do a little bit of work on that, so just ignore that. But yeah, this is like where I'm thinking of putting the lamp, like in the corner of my desk. But the only problem is the wall goes up here and then it angles from like this bit on, like I was saying. So like, I think I'm gonna have to have it sitting away from the wall a bit because of the height, which is a little bit frustrating, but... Oh. That does not quite work as I would have hoped because it is so far away from the corner because of the height of this and stuff. So it's not really gonna work there because it's literally like sitting halfway through my desk, so it doesn't really work. So I either need to return it or I need to find somewhere else to put it or a way to make it work. And I do really wanna make it work because I love it. And once I've painted it, it's gonna match that one so well. And I'm just thinking like in the future in my house, it's gonna tie everything in so well. So I need to work on this because at the moment, this is the gap that we're facing and it's just not a vibe, it's just not working. But this is the label, 20 pound, and then on the back it says concrete table lamp. You literally can't see this. Oh, there you go, you can kind of see it then. It is 1.43 now. I'm not actually that hungry still, but I'm gonna have some lunch so then I can get on with doing other things after lunch. And for my lunch today, I'm gonna have this chicken, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that because I know I'm gonna say it wrong, and couscous ready meal that I got from Aldi. Oh my God, that smells delicious. This smells like a summer barbecue. And after walking through B&M this morning and seeing all the summer stuff in there, I am now ready to feel the rays of the sun on my skin. Oh my God, this smells delicious. Look at how nice that looks. Five minutes in the microwave and then I can devour this and I'm very excited about it. Oh my God, I meant to put the lid loosely back on, aren't I? I forgot. Bone apple teeth, lunch is served. We'll give this a go. Mm, that is actually delicious. It's giving me summer barbecue vibes, but like nice and quick and easy. There was something else I was gonna say and I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, I also feel like for a ready meal, it's actually, I don't know, I haven't looked at like the nutritional value, but I feel like it should be somewhat healthy because it's quinoa, couscous, vegetables and chickens. There shouldn't really be too much unhealthiness in here. And normally I feel like ready meals aren't very good for you. So I feel like this one's a bit of a better option and it's also delicious. I'm gonna eat my lunch now. I feel like we're having long conversations today. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'll see you in a bit because otherwise this vlog is literally gonna be longer than Avatar 1 and 2 put together. It's bin day tomorrow and seeing as I'm the only human in this house, I'm the only thing, I'm the only living thing in this house right now other than my mum's house plants, I suppose. Anyway, I need to take the bin out myself, basically. It's my job. Normally, it would not be my job. It'd normally be dad's job. I'm not really taking the bins out kind of girl, but I need to be this week. And it's bin day tomorrow, so I'm just having a look out my window. I'm having a look at what my neighbours have put out. And the problem is, one of them's put a green bin out, and one of them's put a black bin out, and that's all I can see. So what bin actually is it? Because if my neighbours aren't going to tell me what bin it is, then how the hell am I supposed to know? I'm pretty sure we have like a timetable in the kitchen that I could just look at, but I thought looking out the window would be easier. So remind me later, I do need to take the bin out, 
but I'm gonna wait for more people to get their bin out and then I'm gonna go with the majority color. I placed an order on Pretty Little Thing the other day and what is in this parcel is very appropriate to the jumper I'm wearing now and also just, I feel like, I was gonna say the overall, free, overall theme of this vlog, but there isn't an overall theme. But I'm just gonna open this parcel. I thought we could unbox it together basically because I thought it would like fit in well with this vlog and like what we've, what we've been up to together in this vlog. First up, I got this hoodie because as we can see, I'm wearing my yoga hoodie now and I've obviously just been to yoga this morning. And I saw that Pretty Little Thing came out with these hoodies that say Pilates on them. And obviously I now have a Pilates reformer machine. So I'm a hot pod yoga girl and a reformer Pilates girl now, which I am more than happy about. So I thought let's get a Pilates hoodie as well. Um, these I saw anyway and I thought they're kind of giving me like yoga hoodie vibe dupes, but obviously just a very similar exercise instead. But then I thought they'd work quite well for my um, Pilates machine. So I got this in a size small, it's petite. So now I'm thinking, Oh, I should have sized up and got like a medium. I mean, actually that kind of looks all right. So that is the gray one. And then they do also do it in a cream and I couldn't decide which color I would prefer. So I thought I would get both and then I'll return whichever one I'm not gonna keep. This one I got in a medium, which makes me think that this one must have been out of stock in a medium. Otherwise I would have done the same. Uh, but this is like an oatmeal color with brown and white writing on. It's the exact same, but a bigger size, which I think I prefer. But I just love the writing on that. And then I can like chuck that on for my Pilates workouts and also just wear it around the house. And then, oh, I just got this top because I ordered this before I went away on holiday and I was literally obsessed with it, but it was too big for me. So I've sized down in it and it's basically this like denim bandeau top that looks like a pair of jeans that have been cut into a top, which I just think is so cool. And these are actual like real pockets. And I just really like that. So this I got in a size four because the size six was too big for me which is my normal size for reference. And then I got this, which again is like the Pilates yoga vibe. And it's this jumpsuit because this just looked so lovely. So it's basically just a simple black jumpsuit on the front. It's like made for working out and yoga and stuff. Like it's a really lovely thick stretchy material actually. Um, on here it doesn't actually say that it's made for fitness, but it looks like it's made for fitness. Like it's that kind of material. Um, and it looks like that on the front, but then on the back, it's all like crossed over. So it's like open back and then it like crosses over. Can, wait a second. Can we see a bit like that? So it's like all crossed over. And I thought this would look so nice for both yoga and Pilates and also to just wear around the house. And like, even just to wear out, if I'm popping to the shops or just like running errands, it's just a really easy outfit to chuck on. But I had to get this in a four because it seems quite popular and it's the only size they had in stock. But I actually think that will fit me. Like it looks quite stretchy, so I think that'll be fine. But yeah, that's my little pretty little thing haul. I will leave all those things linked down below just in case anybody cares. But seeing as I've got my yoga hoodie on today and I did Pilates on Monday, I thought it made sense to, you know, open that little parcel together. Anyway, I now need to have a shower because I have been in these sweaty yoga clothes for a little bit too long for comfort now. Um, and I need to wash my hair anyway. So I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair. This is really annoying me in the background of this clip. It's just an empty pack. I don't actually know why I've still got the empty pack in here because They've all just fallen out. But it's a pack of um, floss picks, which I am a big fan of. They've, some of them have even fallen in the sink, so I can show you. These are 10 times better than ordinary floss. They make life so much easier. Um, they actually are probably not that good for the environment, though, thinking about it. So I probably won't repurchase them, having just said how much I love them, because I can now just deep the fact that there's actually quite a lot of unnecessary plastic with them. So anyway, these are really good, but probably won't use them again. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower, like I said, um, because I've been sweating all morning. Not actually been sweating all morning because that's kind of gross. I've just been sweating at yoga, as we know. So yeah, I'm gonna have a shower now and then I'm gonna probably spend the majority of the afternoon. It is now two o'clock. Um, I've just finished eating lunch. I'm gonna spend the majority of the afternoon um, editing, I think. Ah, my head's stuck. I've now washed my hair, but before I get on with spending the next few hours editing, I thought we could try these, which are my like frozen rainbow belt things, which, I feel like I defrosting pretty quickly. Like I've only just got them out of the freezer, but they don't feel as hard as they did a second ago. I think maybe they need eating straight out. It's making my mouth water so much. Like I'm struggling to talk. I feel like maybe you need to eat them straight when they come out of the freezer. Cause I've literally got them out of the freezer like three minutes ago, but they've already started to like warm up a little bit. So they're not as like rock solid as I thought they were going to be, but they're actually really nice. Like at first I thought they were just like the exact same as them not frozen, but 
I feel like they're almost a bit juicier. Like, I don't know how that would be possible. But I do quite like them. Like, I'm not going to do it with every single one of those in the pack. But I definitely will eat them again. Because I thought they were going to be, like, a little bit too sensitive for my teeth. But actually, they're quite nice. I'm going to pop the rest back in the freezer to have them later. But I would give this TikTok frozen fizzy lace snack thing a 7 out of 10. Not sure what it needs to do to get a few more points. But I feel like I need to save my 10. So we'll give it a 7, a 7.5. I've now seen other people in the neighbourhood have put the black bin out. So it's black bin day, I've decided. I mean, if we're all wrong, then we're all wrong and none of our bins are going to get emptied. But I'm going to go with the majority. So I might as well take this out now. And I'm not a bin taking out kind of person, like I said. So I thought we'd film it because this is like a once in a blue moon, once in a lifetime opportunity for you to see me taking a bin out. This bin bag is so full, I actually can't do it up. And like, if this splits on me, I think I might just give up with life in general. I'm just gonna have to put it in the bin, not tied up. Like it's literally getting collected tomorrow morning. So I don't see why that should be that much of an issue. Is that gonna stay there? Right. <laughs> why did I do that? Why did I think that was a good idea? Now I've made my life so much harder. Ugh! Right, I'm gonna take this bin bag out before any more spills out and then I'm gonna have to tidy that mess up in a second. Right, now for a new bin bag, which is what I was going in the laundry room to do. I was going to get this, put a new bin bag out before I took the old one out. But now I've learned you don't do that. You take the old one out first. Out of sight, out of mind. Honestly, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. Right, that is that job done. I now need to take the actual black bin out to the end of the drive, which is going to be even more boring than what I've just done. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to wash my hands for the next two hours and then I'm going to get back on with editing. These are my editing snacks for this afternoon. I'm not going to eat all of these, obviously, but I'm going to try one of these, a cookie dough slice, and then a bit of Aero Peppermint, which I did open yesterday and start munching on, but I love like peppermint aero like i don't know what it is about it but i absolutely love it i also just need to quickly show you these before i um get on with editing my mum has sent me these of the dogs at the beach because obviously they're down in cornwall so this is the first one this is billy digging a hole that literally we just need to rewind that because when i first watched this that took me by surprise like i was not expecting reg to fly in like that and it had me in pieces like i was literally dying um so let's just there we go rewind that like, why is he so bonkers? I really don't know what is going on, but Billy's trying to dig a hole. My mum said he... Chicken tikka pie? Now we're talking. Um, my mum said he was digging this for like 10 minutes and Reg was just going bonkers, <laughs> as you can see around him. And then mum sent me this one where Reg decided he was going to join in, but he has no idea what he's doing. Like, why is he sticking in the hole? And then <laughs> Billy is like accidentally covering him in sand. Like, whenever Billy does something, Reg just wants to join in and do the same thing. But he obviously doesn't really understand what Billy's doing. So then he decided he was just going to wind him up instead. And Billy was like, no, I just want to dig my hole. And Reg was like, well, no, I want you to play. And Billy He's like no i'm just trying to dig my hole like please what an annoying little brother reggie is <laughs> like he is so annoying but also so entertaining like billy's just trying to dig his hole like i don't know where he's digging to maybe australia but this kid just wants to dig his hole and this kid just doesn't understand now it's time for me to get on with doing some editing so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to munch on these get some editing done i will see you in a bit um so this particular um Good evening everyone. It is now six o'clock and it's time for me to make a start on dinner. And tonight I am having another meal. I only realised this like half an hour ago when Josh asked me what I was having for dinner tonight. And I realised I'm having another meal that is inspired by a meal that I had on holiday. Because apparently this week all my dinners are dinners that I'm recreating meals from holidays. So today I have also realised just now that I've got my New York jumper on and this is a meal that I had in New York and that was literally unintentional but a bit of a weird coincidence. But I basically got this barbecued pulled pork um, which I'm having tonight and tomorrow night because it actually works well for both meals. It's very, very convenient. But basically when I was in New York, we went to a place called Smokey Quinn's Barbecue and we had like, it was a barbecue themed restaurant as the name suggests. And basically I had like this barbecue like pulled pork with like sweet mashed potato, sweet potato mashed, mashed sweet potato, however you want to say it. Um, some like sweet corn and like these barbecue beans. So I'm going to have this. I've got an absolutely giant sweet potato in here, which I don't need that much, but I'm going to like cut it. I'm just going to have some sweet corn and then just some simple Heinz beans, which I'm going to put with like some stuff. I haven't quite worked that out yet, but I'm going to put it with something to make it barbecue-y. 
I've got a very barbecue flavoured themed dinner tonight basically. I'm now going to have some dessert and for dessert this evening I'm having one of these. I've It's currently in the oven. Um, I've eaten the other one already. I literally love these. I think these are the best goos. Um, they're like the chocolate souffles and I'm obsessed with them. So that is what I'm having for dessert and I'm currently watching Love Island which is literally what I've done every evening this week. I've just been catching up on Love Island. So you've not really been missing much in the evenings because that's all I've been doing but this evening I'm having dessert so I thought I might as well share that. You cannot tell me that this is not the best looking dessert you've ever seen. I mean, you probably could. I'm sure there's some amazing desserts out there, but look at that. I love a chocolate souffle so much. I don't know why I've still got the oven glove on, but I'm so excited for this. Right, I need to put this in a, like a little um, a bowl and I'm gonna eat this. And I will see you tomorrow morning bright well maybe not bright and early but i'll see you in the morning good morning to all and to all a good morning it is now thursday i have just finished filming a primark makeup video which is currently the makeup that i have on so if i look a little bit orange throughout the day the foundation i put on is a little bit too dark but that's all i'm saying for the rest of the stuff about that video you'll have to go and watch that video and i've also just finished filming a zara haul i'm just about to film some tiktoks and then i need to pop to the post office to take a parcel to be returned um but i thought i would just say good morning because the problem is when i'm like vlogging but i'm also filming other videos i feel like i then don't vlog anything because i'm busy filming other videos if that makes sense so i thought i'd just say hello and good morning um and start today's vlog clips off now whilst i'm in the middle of filming with my setup and everything. But yeah, I'm gonna film some TikToks now. It is currently 10 o'clock. I've got two videos filmed, which is amazing. Um, so now I'm just gonna film a couple of TikToks and then we shall go from there. But yeah, I thought I'd say hello, good morning. How are we all? Hope we're all doing really well. I've had my crunchy nut cereal for breakfast and now I'm gonna carry on with filming. It is now half past 11. I've got a Zara parcel I need to take to the post office to return. It is very, very exposed, isn't it? It's such a beautiful day today. Like it's literally bright blue skies and sunshine. It's lovely. I've also got a very interesting post office outfit on. I've got my holy hoodie on, but I've also just put my Crocs on because I'm literally just popping out the house to go to the post office and I couldn't be bothered to like have to deal with laces. But to be fair, they're like a khaki colour and they kind of match the colour of my hoodie. I'm looking like a slight hot mess. Uh, I've just dropped my phone. I'm looking like a slight hot mess because I've got my hair just like clipped back out the way. Um, but also my curtain bangs. Yeah, I kind of botched them yesterday. To be fair, they're not too bad when they're styled and down. I just cut them too short and like just did a really bad job and I'm never doing that again. I have learned my lesson. But anyway, um, it's now half 11, like I said. I've spent the morning filming um, and now I just need to pop to the post office because I've got a Zara parcel I need to return. So I'm going to take that to the post office. Um, it's such a beautiful day today it's bright blue skies and sunshine and it really wants me really makes me want to go for a walk and get my 10,000 steps in um because the weather's just so beautiful like I want to go out and do something to make the most of it but I've got a lot of editing I need to do and I've got like loads of content ideas swimming around in my head like the past two nights it's taken me ages to fall to sleep because I've had so many like content ideas swimming around my head so I kind of want to get them written down and I probably should just spend the afternoon editing so I might I might go for a walk I might not we'll see but we'll go to the post office for now and then we'll go from there. This song has my favourite song lyric in all the world about the sour milk on the floor and not shutting the refrigerator door. This is my absolute favourite. Woo I'm at the post office. Okay, post office is now done. I literally have two minutes worth of footage left, but it's literally only like a three minute drive home. So we can have a little bit of a sing along on the way home, but not, not massive. I need to get a new SD card. Cause I'm just filming so much for this weekly vlog that I'm running out of room. It is now editing time and also snack time. And I've got quite a lot of snacks here. I don't know why I brought the whole pack up of these, but I'm just gonna have one of those. I've got this apple from yesterday that I couldn't juice. Um, if I cut that bit off, it'll be all right. So I've got that that I kind of need to eat. And then of course, my new obsession, my corn cakes. I definitely need at least one of these, one of these and a bit of apple, that's okay. And then I've got a big thing of water because I need to stay hydrated. Anyway, my camera's telling me I've got no room left on my SD card. So I need to get on with editing, but I thought I'd give you a little snack haul and I'll see you in a bit. Lunch time. You are resting or are you not? Are you gonna rest? On an empty can of sweet corn from last night's dinner that I do need to take out to the recycling bin, I just haven't done it yet. And I obviously wasn't gonna do it last night because it was dark and I'm on my own. So that's scary. Let me move that chopping board because that's gonna be in the way. The hair is still looking a little bit of a hot mess, but I'm gonna have some lunch now. For lunch, I'm gonna have these that I got from Aldi the other day. Um, the sticky teriyaki chicken bite things, just because 
I've got some rice in the fridge that's left over from Tuesday night's dinner that I need to eat up. And there's also a broccoli in the fridge that needs eating and it doesn't really work with my dinner tonight. And then I'm not here like at home for the next few nights. So um, I basically need to eat up and it actually does work well together. And it's also a quick and easy lunch. So I can just like bung these in the oven, put the rice in the microwave, put the broccoli in the oven when these go in the oven to cook. So then I can carry on concentrating on editing, I eat up the food that needs eating. Am I doing well at adulting? I think so. <laughs> It is now 4.25. I have just been sending myself over some video clips from my phone to my laptop to edit them for like some TikTok daily vlogs because I've been filming a couple of them this week. So if you wanna, if you wanna see them, my TikTok, actually, why don't I get it up? This is my TikTok. So if you're not following me already, you should go over and follow me. This is kind of roughly what it looks like. I'm having a snack now. I've got these pink panther mallow fingers. Very random, but I just fancied them. I've edited my Zara haul ready for that to go live at five today because it's Thursday. So I've obviously got a video going live. I'm gonna do a little bit more editing, got some TikToks to edit, and I'm gonna make a start on editing this weekly vlog. And I also have a couple of emails from brands wanting to work with me that I need to reply to. So that's what I'm gonna do now, but I just sort of give you a little bit of an update. I've not seen you since lunchtime, I think. Can't quite remember, but this is where I'm at, at the moment. these are kind of cute i was expecting them to be like you know like this big you know like the big rectangle ones but they're like i suppose it does actually say mallow fingers on the front i just hadn't really acknowledged that they're like little individual like really thin ones how sweet is that these honestly have no taste to them like they're literally like eating cardboard but for some reason i still sometimes enjoy them yep just as I remembered, they literally have no flavour, but I'm still gonna eat it. Still looking a little bit like a hot mess, but I've just found out, like not just found out, but I've had an email, this is one of the emails I needed to reply to, from Rebellious Fashion wanting to work on a TikTok. And like, I can pick the products from TikTok shop and then like, they send them to me, which I've never done before. Like I've never done a collaboration with like TikTok shop, which I just thought I'd document this. This is quite exciting. Okay, change of plan. I've had a look through and there's not really anything that's really my style and I'm not going to work with a company just for the sake of working with them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I am very um, honest. I don't really know what word to use. Like, honest, truthful. Like, with my collaborations, like, I'm only going to collaborate with someone if I would genuinely spend my own money on it. And because none of these clothes are really my style, it just doesn't really fit with me and what I'm, like, about to work with them, if that makes sense. So that was a little bit short and sweet. <laughs> that's not going to be going ahead because I'm just not feeling it. And that's okay. I don't know if this is acceptable, but it's about half past four on a Thursday. And I'm gonna go and try the rose, because I said I was gonna try it in this vlog. And I'm gonna be at Josh's this weekend, so I'm not really gonna have time to try it. And it's Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday, so I kind of feel like it's acceptable. So I'm just gonna try it. I did notice though when I was putting this away the other day when I got back from shopping that on the back it says, like, there's this style guide thing. And it says it's like dry, whereas I think I'm probably better with a sweeter wine. And this is literally like as far on the dry scale as possible. So I'm not sure if I picked the right one. I just went with this one because I kept seeing it on TikTok. But I'm thinking maybe a sweeter wine is probably going to be a better place for me to start. It's not smelling like I'm going to like it. I'm literally just going to pour that to start with. I really want to like wine. Prosecco I'm never going to like again because I had a bad night on it. Literally made me so unwell. So I'm never touching that drink again. Like I feel like everyone has that one drink that they just can't go near because they've had a bad experience with it. And Prosecco is mine. And because wine has got a similar smell, I feel like it's kind of tainted that for me as well. Oh God, no, it's not happening. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. If anyone who knows me or lives near me wants this free bottle of rosé, then let me know and you can have this because I shall not be drinking it. It is not my vibe. Now I want a different drink. Look, what I just remembered about, I've got my peach limeade. Where's my wine glass? I'm gonna try this instead. This is um, a lot more me. This is smelling like Fanta Fruit Twist, and I love Fanta Fruit Twist. Oh, much better. It does taste exactly like it says, peach limeade. Like, it's peachy with a little bit of lime to it, and I'm so here for that. I'm gonna take this upstairs and get back on with editing. For dinner tonight, I'm having like <laughs> another holiday recreation, like another holiday meal recreation. I'm having, um. Like when I was on a holiday in Vietnam, if you've not seen my second Vietnam vlog, you definitely need to go and watch it. But I had this like taco salad and it was in like this massive taco bowl and it was delicious. Couldn't find any taco bowls, so I'm just gonna recreate it with taco shells, but basically gonna use like the second portion of pulled pork from last night. Lettuce, sweet corn, tomato, salsa, guacamole, creme fraiche, because I don't have any sour cream, and have like this taco salad thing. Basically recreate what I had in Vietnam, because it was delicious. So that is tonight's dinner. This is my drink for now. 
and I'm gonna go and get back on with editing. I've just remembered I wanted to open this on the vlog with you. This is a parcel I got gifted from Purdy and Fig. They actually sent it to me, like it arrived whilst I was away on holiday um, and I was waiting to open it in the vlog and I keep forgetting. So I thought we could open it quickly now. Ooh, I can't even, three simple steps. Lift the lid, oh my God, I can smell it already. That smells delicious. Lift the lid on a fresh approach to cleaning. Simple natural ingredients, gentle yet effective. A pleasure to use. This is what it looks like and I can already smell it. Oh my God. This looks amazing. I can't even remember what it was that they were sending me. So this is a bit of a surprise for me and for you. And this is exciting. It comes with this little like really, oh my God, that is so soft. This like, oh, what's, what's this? Fur and bergamot counter clean. This little like bottle. Then there's like this towel, like cloth microfiber towel thing. My mum is literally gonna love this. Let me actually read this so I know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I'm just gonna show you this so you can read a little bit about it without me rambling about it. Um, and then this is like how it works. If you want £10 off your first order, scan that QR code um, and it'll get you £10 off. But basically you get this bottle, like a spray bottle, and then you get these different scents. So I've got that one that I just showed you. Then we have um, grounding vetiver, whatever that is, uplifting citrus and balancing floral. And these are like concentrates. And then you put them in here and then fill up with water. And then you've got like a cleaning spray and it's like no harsh chemicals. And I don't know which one I can smell. I think it's this one. It honestly smells delicious. Like I don't even know how to explain it. Like a really nice diffuser scent, kind of like white company sort of vibes they're the kind of vibes that i'm getting from these smells i'm actually so excited to try this maybe in next week's weekly vlog we can do like a little bit of a clean with me together because tomorrow i'm working um like my normal one day a week work and then i'm going straight from work to josh's because he's home from uni for the weekend so don't know how much i'm going to be vlogging this weekend because I don't know if Josh and I are going to be going out and doing anything. Like if we're just staying at his house, I probably won't vlog much. But we'll find out later on in the vlog what I get up to this weekend. But maybe next week we can do a little clean with me. How exciting. That is so fun and fresh and so clean. It's quarter to six and I forgot to mention earlier that along with my taco salad, I'm also going to have some chicken wings for dinner, which is what I got the Frank's hot sauce yesterday for because I'm going to do some like buffalo chicken wings to go along with the taco salad because that's what we had um, at the diner we went to in Vietnam. And I forgot to mention that earlier and I need to make a start on these now because I've just looked at the recipe and they take a lot longer to cook than I thought. So I'm going to make a start on these, have some dinner, current editing. Just thought I'd add that in because I needed you to know I was going to have chicken wings for my dinner as well. Okay? Felt like that was vital information. This is definitely my best dinner so far. So I've got my taco salad, which looks pretty loaded, but there is just a lot of lettuce. So what I've done is I've like broken the taco shells into like two, like in half and put them on the base to kind of make the bowl type vibe that I had when I was in Vietnam. And then these are my chicken wings. I don't feel like they look the best, but like they also, they look not that good, but they also look good. Does that make sense? I've done this like buffalo sauce with them and like, look at how crispy they look. I'm actually so impressed with them. It's the first time I've cooked chicken wings and they literally look so crispy and delicious. There is a lot there. I'm not gonna eat all them. Some of them I'll just pop in the fridge to have like as a snack another day. It looks like a pretty big dinner, but it does look like a big dinner, but I'm not gonna eat all of it. Whatever I don't eat will go in the fridge, but look at how good that looks. I'm actually very impressed with myself. Good morning, everybody. It's now Saturday. Um, I'm at Josh's house. You might be able to tell if you know what Josh's house looks like, which you probably don't, so actually that's a bit stupid. Um, it's Saturday, yesterday I was working, so uh, I didn't really vlog anything and then I picked Josh up from the station, came to his house, I had an Indian takeaway for dinner. That was basically yesterday, in a nutshell. Um, it is now quarter past 10 and we are going to go and get coffee because I fancy a Starbucks. We're going to pop to Tesco even though I've already been to Tesco this week and you've already seen me in Tesco this week. But we're going to go again because uh, we're going to get some snacks and have like maybe a bit of a movie day because it's not very nice weather today. It's not raining at the moment but it has been um, and we can't really bother to do anything other than that. Like we could, I kind of want to go out but I can't bother to go out. Out? If that makes sense so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna get some snacks in tesco get a coffee and then come back home and chill but i just thought i would update you this vlog's probably already very long so i'm gonna try not to ramble anymore throughout the rest of this week otherwise this is gonna be like the length of avatar one and two put together which i think i might have already said this week if i haven't there we go um we're gonna go to starbucks now and you can come with us
you're slightly on a slant but it's the best I can get but we've just been to Starbucks got the Starbucks um, had a quick wander around town to see if there's anything I wanted on a cake store which there was not um, I just wanted something cakey but now we're gonna go to Tesco to get some snacks to watch some films this afternoon but that's all I really have to update you on that was about it we had a bit of an issue with parking because it's a Saturday morning but other than that not a lot's happened really Huh? Film this exactly earlier in the week. <laughs> oh my god, that trolley's moving like playing. Oh, missed it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is very tempting. Every time I come in here, they never ever have them in stock. So I might get one of these as my cakey snack, but also we have now seen that Easter eggs are only two. Are you getting one? Okay. Oh, and Jeff has got me some flowers. What a romantic. Let's have a look. I think it's cheap. Waiting for you to go, yeah, that's probably the best one. No. I'll stop with the last one. I think we can separate. do it in here. Do you test it just for like some frying a bit? Yeah, I know, I didn't see it, but you won't let me. <laughs> <sighs> We're now back from Tesco. Josh got me some roses, which is super cute. And I thought I'd give you a quick little haul of the snacks that we got. So I got a Nutella, and you can't really see it, but it's like the, like nutty chocolate, Nutella, whatever. Oh, I'm struggling to get in the bag. I got some popcorn, which I'm gonna put some magic stars in it to eat it. And then Josh got a mini eggs Easter egg because they were like two pound on club card and I will be eating some of that. Um, and then I got a caramel egg, again on club card and I just fancied it. So they're the little snacks um, for, what am I trying to say? For later and then um, we just got some steaks for dinner and some potatoes, oh and some eggs, which is fun. That's the little Tesco haul over. Um, it's 12 o'clock. I have a lot of notifications and um, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you later. Oh, this is gonna be way too far away. Oh well. Guys, I'm having a bit like a quarter life crisis. So I just thought I'd update you, even though you're really far away, but I'm just struggling to work out how I'm gonna fit everything I want to do before I have kids into the time that I have before I'm gonna have kids. And I'm not planning on having kids anytime soon. Like I'm literally thinking 28, 30, around that time. So like, I'm only 22, but I, as soon as I turn 22, I just feel old. Like being 21, I felt okay. I enjoyed 21, lovely age, lovely number. 22, however, I suddenly feel very old and I feel on a big time pressure to put everything in. So I'm currently having a quarter life crisis, which it's not very fun because I want to live abroad for a bit, not for long, like a month or two. I want to do that and I want to travel Australia a bit and then I'm like, I want to have my own house but also if I'm going to do that there's no point having a house, so I should just rent. And then I also don't want to do it on my own because I don't cope very well on my own, especially like living a, I'd rather go away with someone for like a month and live like in LA or something to have someone to do stuff with. The problem is Josh is not basically going to be able to do that. So I'm just having like a, like because of his job and stuff. So I'm just having a quarter life crisis. So I thought I would update you. Um, I've just been sat here on the sofa, just like this, really going through emotions, how I'm gonna make my life work, um, which I'm struggling with. So that's an update, but I'm now gonna do some, I'm working with White Fox, um, which I'm very excited about, and I need to pick up my products. So I thought, I'm going to do that because that's going to be fun. Shopping is always something that makes me happy and is my go-to, especially when I don't have to put my car details in at the end of it. So I'm going to have a browse on Whitebox now to pick out my products, or at least make a start on picking out my products for my collaboration with them. So I can focus on that rather than focusing on all the dilemmas I'm currently facing with my life, which is not the vibe. But yeah. I just thought I'd update you. I don't even know if you can see me because the viewfinder is so far away that I can't see what I'm filming, but I just thought I'd update you because that's fun. Oh. Did 
lunchtime. This is such a, um, I don't even know what I describe this as. Childish, yummy. Chicken, some curly fries and a pizza. How delightful. Snacks later for watching films. I'm just cutting the bottom bits off my roses. I'm just gonna pop them in here for now. Um, Cause I obviously want them to last. Josh said that this looks like ketchup, which I do have to agree with. Um, but I'm gonna put that in when I get home and put them in a vase. No one really cares about me cutting the bottoms off of my roses, do they? No. Okay, see you in a bit. Ta-da! The most delicious and not nutritious lunch ever. Um, oh, have you taken it? Yes. Which I am incredibly excited about. Mm, mm, mm. What an elite movie watching snack. Then it was Sunday. I had a really chill day at Josh's. We had a bit of a lion, had a good breakfast, went for a dog walk with his parents. And then just basically chilled and then I went to the station at like half four to pick dad up because he was getting a train home from Cornwall. So I picked him up. We had a really chill day and that was basically Sunday. Do also want to add though, because I forgot to say this on Friday slash Saturday. Those chicken wings that I made on Thursday night were the crispiest, best chicken wings. I was going to say I've ever made, but they were the only chicken wings I've ever made. But they were like, honestly, I was so proud of myself for those chicken wings. They were delicious. And I'm also really proud of myself with how well I coped last week because it's only really been like the second time that I've really lived on my own. And the first time my anxiety was a lot worse. And then, like I said on Mon no, Tuesday morning, I felt a little bit anxious. But other than that, last week I literally thrived and I actually did so well living on my own and I somewhat enjoyed it. So I definitely am getting better at that. I'm definitely conquering my anxiety, which is such an amazing thing pat myself on the back I'm very proud of that but yeah that is basically the week that's the end of the weekly vlog it's actually monday morning now i just forgot to film an intro yesterday and i have already started filming another weekly vlog because i love doing them so much so subscribe down below so you don't miss out on that thank you so much uh, thank you so much for watching if you've made it to this point that is very impressive because i'm only halfway through editing this vlog and it's already like an hour long so i think it's going to be between like an hour and a half to two hours long so if you've got this far pat yourself on the back thank you very much i'm very impressed with that um, yeah, and I shall see you at some point in another video. Bye!